it's definitely, I think they had a personal vendetta against Ben. Take away the 1031. Then we'll take away his cigarettes. And they'll have nothing! He'll be ruined! He barely worked this goddamn thing. What's in the news today? Big news today. Biden administration announces it intends to ban menthol cigarettes and flavored cigars. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous thing I can imagine them even having time to think about doing. They ain't taking away my goddamn new parts. You know why? If I started smoking at 12, what am I, 55 now? 43 years, I went to the Mayo Clinic and they said my lungs are still clean. But regardless, it's your right, okay, to smoke cigarettes. Then you can stop banning liquor. Why don't you go back to the fucking war on drugs and send an army over there and kill all the fucking cocaine coming into the country and all the heroin and all the methamphetamines and the list goes on and on and on. Worry about the shit that's destroying society. This might cut off a few years of your life, but that's your choice. It's not making you go out and rob and steal and, and, and create a whole crime organizations and killings behind it. Biden expected to ban menthol cigarettes because black communities are targeted consumers. That was in the Hill. Bro, what the fuck's the difference? You think a Marlboro and a menthol is that much fucking difference? And do you have time to worry about what type of cigarettes people are smoking? Either smoke or don't smoke. It's your right to do what you want. It's not an illegal substance. If you got time to worry about fucking menthol cigarettes, we really got issues in this country. You guys are cool, cool. It causes cancer. A lot of shit causes cancer and a lot of shit out there. Alcohol is one of the worst poisons in the world. And it destroys you sociably, mentally. Your whole life can be destroyed by alcohol. How many people are going bankrupt because of cigarettes? Or staying out all night? Or in bars? Or doing stupid shit because they're drunk? How many? Cigarettes? None. In fact, cigarettes calm you down. Make you be able to deal with society. Okay, and I honestly believe it has some medical points to it. After I eat a meal and I smoke a cigarette, man, I feel good. Is there something wrong with feeling good? In the morning when I wake up and I have a cigarette and coffee and I get this kind of buzz, baby, I get up and I go to fucking work and I take care of my family. What the hell are you taking away shit from me for? I'm not hurting you. If I want to smoke fucking Newports, and I'll smoke them. I don't know what to say. It's so ridiculous to even talk about this. I mean... That's crazy. So what are you going to do if they're actually going to ban menthol cigarettes? What are you going to do? I don't know. I mean, I would really very be an unhappy person and very frustrated if they take away my Newports. You know, they got methadone clinics for heroin addicts. If we're addicted to it, then don't take it away. Give it to us. You know, money they make off of this shit too? Who they bullshit and all the taxes? You know, uh, I don't know. The government's nuts because they, they have no business sense. They're too busy worried about radical craziness instead of just running the country right and getting all our problems solved. Newports are not the goddamn problem right now. Is this like the worst two years of, of Ben's life? Let's do whatever, whatever, whatever's good for Ben. Let's come in and let's screw it up. COVID came and destroyed my income for the past over a year now. Sitting there with empty hotels. Then we get a change in government and all they want to talk about is the things that hurt me. They want to take away my new boards? They want to take away the 1031? That's totally ridiculous. Now they're thinking about doing away with tax benefits that help people grow. It's those tax benefits that enable people with nothing to get ahead, you idiots. I would be a garbage man right now if it wasn't been a 1031. And, oh, well, you're rich. Well, what the hell's wrong with being rich? I've been poor. It wasn't no goddamn fun. If you take away things like 1031 and Newports, it's gonna be harder to get rich. This country is built on trying to make it from nothing. And everybody can do it. Unless you guys come in and start screwing shit up. That's what our country is based on. You talk about helping people? That's the kind of shit that helps people. 
It's not a handout. It's a tool. You give people the tools they need to get ahead. And then they work the tools. That's the way it works. You take away the tools, nothing gets built. You want to help people? Give them more things like 1031s. Things that we have to help people help themselves. Okay, that makes you feel good. Yeah, let's stick it to the rich people. A lot of them weren't born with silver spoons in their mouth. Shit, I didn't even have a friggin' McDonald's straw. If they remove it, then what's gonna happen is people aren't gonna be so anxious to, to sell. If you know 1031, typically you pay about 20% capital gains tax. That can be swallowed. But if you wanna grow in life, you don't pay it right now, you defer it. And you move on a bigger and better deal and you grow and everything grows. If they take away the 1031, you can't exchange no more, then you gotta start paying at least 20% and recapture any uh, uh, depreciation on the asset when it's sold. People are saying, screw that. If I make a half a million bucks, I'm gonna give away a hundred grand? No, I just won't sell. Properties won't be moving, things will come to a standstill, there won't be a lot of trading going on, and um, everything will be just, you know, blah, dead. No, no growth, no nothing. Everybody will lose. How will it affect you personally? Personally, I'm probably saying, well, I don't know. Everybody's got a different life. You know, in my life, I might say, well, screw it. I'm out. I'm done. I'll just pay the 20% and call it a day. Problem is, I've been 1031 in for so long, I probably have a very low basis. And my tax bill would could be tremendous. The way I was going to deal with the 1031 was die. When I die, it's over. I die, goes to my wife, and you know, and she gets stepped up basis, and uh, everybody lives happily ever after. That was the rules. Now they want to come in and change rules. How could you have rules, and then a guy like me follows them for 30 friggin' years, and after 30 years, oh, by the way, we're gonna do away with it. It's not the way it works. For what? You think you think you're doing something to, to, to raise taxes? Stop pissing away all the goddamn money. Where are all these trillions of dollars going anyway? And where's it coming from? And from the numbers I saw, you're not even going to collect that much after screwing people out of the 1031s. Compared to the money you're spending. And then what they're going to do is, they're not going to be happy. They're the types that just never friggin' happy. They say, okay, we're going to take away the 1031, fine. Now, it's not going to be 20% no more. We're going to raise it to 40%. So don't act like you're helping the poor people. You're hurting the poor people because you're taking away the opportunities they got to try to make it in life. That's what you're doing by taking away the 1031. And I know because I lived it for 30 years. You know what's happening in this country is that we're going towards communism, okay? And the communists are going towards capitalism. We're going in the fucking opposite direction. Now all of a sudden we got billionaires in China. How the hell has China got billionaires? The, the country owned everything. Stop with the control. You know how much money uh, people generate by constantly buying real estate and improving it and, 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 and trading up into bigger and better projects and growing? It's called opportunity. The 1031 exchange gives you opportunity. And if you're smart, you'll take advantage of the opportunity and you'll grow and you'll make more money and the economy will be stronger and you put more people to work and you spend more millions at Home Depots and all the other stores and you provide something for society. At least in real estate, we're providing housing. We're providing a place for people to live. What's more important than that? We're making shit happen that didn't happen before. Creating. Guys that go out and build big apartment complexes and, and all these skyscraper buildings, they're creating the future. Go ahead, stop the 1031 and you're stopping our future. It's a conspiracy against Ben. 1031 in Newports. They went right for the heart and then turned the knife. Adios amigos. Adios amigos.